Good morning and praise the Lord. How are you this Tuesday? I hope you're well and the Lord has kept you. Welcome to our morning devotion. My name is Eden Zia. And this morning I want us to reason together on the subject of seizing opportunities. Do you seize your opportunities wisely or the vice versa? Thank you, Kusema. We are reading from Proverbs chapter 10, verse 5. The Bible says, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. He who gathers during summer and takes advantage of his opportunities is a son who acts wisely. But he who sleeps during harvest and ignores the moment of opportunity is a son who acts shamefully. We are all sons in the kingdom of God. And you know the old adage goes that make hay while the sun shines. And this is a principle that cuts across everyone, whether you're born again or not, whether you're a believer or not. This is just a principle. Opportunities are a blessing and they are a gift from, from God. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 11 tells us that time and chance happen to them all. And the question that I have for you this morning is, have you exploited all the time and chance that God has given you? And even this morning as you reflect, I want you as you go about your businesses in this day, please go after seizing all the opportunities that God will give you. A wise person sees an opportunity and passionately and zealously goes after it. But the foolish people, they see an opportunity and say that tomorrow will still be there. So how good and faithful of stewards have we been in seizing the opportunities that God has given us so far? Napoleon agreed, with, uh, Napoleon agreed with Solomon when he said that ability is of little account without opportunity. So we'll all get opportunities and we all have certain abilities that God has uh, exceptionally gifted us with. What are we doing with them? And the thing about this verse that you have just read is that gathering is not a sweet job. And you know when we gather during summer, the sun is so hot. Uh, especially if it is maize or beans from wherever I come from, my mom will wake us up and to go and do the job. It is not a job that is clean, it is a dirty job and nobody actually enjoys it. And I pray that this morning, that even as you go out there, you will just fold your sleeves and do the work. Do not wait for something comfortable, do not wait for something sweet. Go after those opportunities and seize them. The 24 hours of the day that, Lord, uh, that God will give you today, Please go after them. Gather educational knowledge. Build on your social capital. Win souls for the kingdom of God. Because a time is coming when we will all give an account before God the Father. And the question is, what account will you give? So be a good and faithful steward. It is harvest time. It is time to seize opportunities. Let's pray. Precious God, you are a good, good Father. And we thank you this morning because you are reminding us to be the sons who act wisely. And Lord, you're reminding us to go after the opportunities that you provide for us each and every single day, capitalize and up on them and make the best out of them. A lot of this particular day as we go out, we pray that you're going to give us wisdom, you're going to open our eyes to see the opportunities that you have laid in store for us, that you will not be like the daily sun, who will go forth his hands and justice back. We pray that, Lord, we are going to be passionate and zealous in what you bring forth today for the glory and the honor of your name. We love you and we praise you because you have provided opportunities for us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Once again, this is Praise Chapel, Mombasa. We are located along Mathenge Road, General Mathenge Road, opposite Aga Khan Hospital. We have two services, the sunrise service that starts at 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning and the mid-morning service that starts at 9.30 to 11.30 in the morning. I look forward to seeing you, Charlie. And until next time, seize the opportunities that God will give you. Shalom.